The Cyber Essentials framework is something that I really recommend for small businesses. But next year, there's gonna be some changes to the Cyber Essentials framework. What are those changes? We'll find out in today's video. But before we start, as always, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards, and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I've got an IT company called Integral IT, and we support businesses all over with their IT support, their cyber security, and their Microsoft 365. So please Please do me a quick favor if you get any value from this video whatsoever then please subscribe to my channel Now, if you're a regular watcher of my YouTube channel, you will know that I'm a big fan of the Cyber Essentials Framework here in the UK. Now, it's fair to say that the Cyber Essentials Framework sometimes gets a bit of a bashing. Why? Well, because it's basic. The key word is essentials, but I think that is the appeal for small businesses for two reasons. Firstly, small businesses often don't have the knowledge in-house to be able to develop complex cybersecurity solutions. And secondly, often they don't have the budget so the Cyber Essentials Framework ensures that small businesses like yours have the basics in place, have good cyber hygiene to be able to repel some basic cyber attacks. And believe me when I say this, there are plenty of small businesses out there who would do well to have the basics in place. Having said all that, the Cyber Essentials Framework isn't going to protect you if a country decides to hack into your business. Good luck with that one. And there are a few things missing from the framework. So it's not a comprehensive framework. Things like backup. Backup isn't part of the framework, but obviously you need backup. But it is a start. And also, if you want to work with local authorities or government organizations, you will have to have the Cyber Essentials certification. So there is a very brief overview view of the Cyber Essentials Framework. I've got a couple of other videos on my channel about the framework in its entirety if you want to know more. But the framework is having a couple of changes in 2023. So I wanted to make this video to tell you what those changes are. So without further ado, grab one of these, fill it with Yorkshire tea, strap yourself in and let's go. So back in January 2022, the Cyber Essentials Framework had a bit of a makeover. It was the biggest makeover since its introduction in 2014, there were some new controls introduced. For example, people who worked at home and used their home computers found that those home computers were now included in the scope for Cyber Essentials. This was after COVID, when there was a big surge of everybody going home and using the home computers. It caused well, a few security problems. Another change in January 2022 was that cloud services, like Microsoft 365, for example, came into scope. And also multi-factor authentication, that was included in the scope as well, but only for admin accounts. Now, as well as those changes introduced in January 2022, there were also some other changes announced, but you had 12 months to implement these changes, a grace period. So you basically had a year to get your house in order. So a couple of these changes were, for example, thin clients. Now, thin clients don't usually store data. You just switch them on and connect to a cloud service. But now, these thin clients were included in the Cyber Essentials scope. And back to multi-factor authentication. So January 2022, it had to be in place on all admin accounts. As of January 2023, that was extended to all accounts. Here, here. So those changes were planned to happen in January 2023 but more on that in a moment so now you are fully up to speed on the changes that have happened in the cyber essentials framework so what does the future have planned for us well the cyber essentials framework is due to have another refresh in april 2023 so what updates are gonna happen in april 2023 well it's not going to be a big shake up of the certification but there's going to be some clarification on certain aspects of the controls for example Example. There's going to be some new guidance when it comes to companies who use third parties or subcontractors. My IT company in the last 12 months has seen a surge of businesses who employ subcontractors rather than employ people on their own payroll. And of course, these subcontractors often want to use their own laptops or their own PCs. So in April 2023, there's going to be some guidance of how we should deal with this on a cyber essentials level. Secondly, there's going to be some clarification around firmware. 
software. What's firmware? Well, firmware is kind of software updates for hardware. So you might have firmware for your printer, you might have firmware for your firewall. Up until now, the Cyber Essentials framework meant you had to check all your devices and make sure they were running the most up-to-date firmware. So you'd have to check your PCs, printers, your routers, your switches, your access points, all your hardware. But apparently, this caused a few problems when it came to Cyber Essentials. So this is getting loosened a little bit and you've only got to make sure that your router firewall firmware is up to date. And another change is around antivirus software. The Cyber Essentials framework is simply evolving as security software gets more sophisticated. Up until now, the only antivirus that was checked was file-based antivirus. This will change in April 2023. So as you can see, there's no massive changes, just a few subtle changes. I do think it's important that the Cyber Essentials framework continues to evolve. Now, can you remember those changes that I talked about earlier, like the multi-factor authentication for user accounts? They were announced in January 2022 and you had a year, so you had until January 2023 to implement them. Because the Cyber Essentials people are now making a change in April, they've decided to give you until April to implement those changes. I think that's called two birds, one stone. So there you have it. You've got a bit of a summary into what is happening with Cyber Essentials in 2023. If you're not certified, I highly recommend that your business goes through the certification. If you've got any questions, problems, I'd be happy to help. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.